A lot of people talk about VATS, which is endoscopic normal surgery, and robotic surgery like they're two completely different things. And at the moment, they are two completely different things because it looks so different. Because robotics, I'm away from the patient on a big console, 1.4 million pounds. Whereas endoscopic, I'm there by the bedside with little sticks, just chucking them in the chest. So if this was one of the normal endoscopic instruments, you know, it would just go in the chest, you twizzle it around a bit, it'll be all fixed and very difficult to use. So um, I'm actually just on my way to uh, America, to an American conference where I'm going to present the first use in the UK of this new instrument, which is called the Flexdex Surgical Needle Holder. It's invented by an amazing surgeon called Jim Geiger in Philadelphia as a paediatric surgeon. And what he wants to do is bring robotic technology to all endoscopic surgeons, no matter sort of what specialty, and because a lot of people can't afford the robot. And the thing that the robot gives us is the manual dexterity, your ability ability to move your hands in the chest and this brings it. So, so now instead of just being a static instrument that they go in and out and turn, I've got the ability to move like a robotic arm and so I can grab and I can stitch and I can do all the movements that my robot was able to do. Now this isn't exactly as perfect as if I use my, my whole robotic console because the other thing it gives me is a 3D camera and uh, the, my ability to use, uh, to move the camera, but actually those exist as well. You can get a 3D endoscopic camera that is voice activated. So if I had that and I had this, I've basically created myself a super cheap robot. And so it's called democratizing surgery with a surgeon powered robot. Well, I think this is engineering genius. Se several other companies have tried to make a wristed instrument like this, but they've ended up being very clunky and not very usable. In fact, there's actually a powered one that has a little motor that can go left and right, but it's very difficult to control. This is simplicity in itself. It's just two wires that side to control the up down, two wires that side to control the left and right. You just just rotate your fingers which rotates it and then this just clicks it's brilliant I think it's absolutely fantastic I'm very convinced that this will have a very bright future